Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another cooking video. Once again, I'm going to be cooking a spam sandwich, but this time a little bit different. I'm going to slice it the same way, and I'm going to make a foam tool to form the spam into a, a receptacle, really, for an egg. So I'm going to have a fried spam and egg sandwich. I hope you enjoy the video. It's just a bit of a laugh, a bit daft carry on, because I really do think we need a laugh. You know, we need a bit... Uh, a bit chill up. Anyway, let's get on. We'll get the spam prepared first and come back in here and get it cooked. In the last spam opening video, I did it with a spam straight up and down because I wasn't sure how much force the spam was going, going to come out of the tin with. It didn't come out with that much, it was just enough basically to cut through the spam. So I've set it up in the milling machine here and I've got the camera at a better angle, so hopefully you'll be able to see it come out in all its full glory. I'll zoom in a little bit and we'll slice the spam. Once again I've got the regular, I said it, a nice gentle 50 psi and we'll go up and that has worked absolutely perfect. Four nice slices of spam ready for tonight's dish. I've got some stainless steel tube in here that I'm going to use to make the, the spam cutter with. I've got some 62, 63 outside and some 75, 76 outside. I'm using stainless steel because I can get it for nothing off cuts basically but also I'll be able to make sure it's nice and clean before we actually use them. You don't want anything to contaminate the spam. So we'll put these in a lathe, square them up Sharp on them and then we can cut the spam. <laughs> Johnny Man. You better. That's much better, just one little rag there to take off. And that's quite sharp. Right, just time to cut the spam. I was going to put this in the press and cut up the press, but that would just been silly. I should be able to force, force it through by hand. Yeah. Not a problem, we'll do two. Once again, the spam goes into a dry pan and the piece will cut out, we'll be able to utilize that. I'm starting to get a nice golden brown colour now. It's time to put the egg in. There's a little bit of leakage around the sides, but it should seal itself up. 
I'll let that stiffen up and I'll flip the egg over so the egg is still nice and runny inside but not snotty and nasty on the outside. I think it's now ready to flip the egg. The egg has actually set. We'll gently turn it over. I think that's probably just about perfect now. Right, time to serve it. Hopefully the egg should be, it is nice and runny. That's going to be absolutely wonderful. Some black pepper. All right, the end now is to give it a try. Make the sale in these parts. Bon appetit, body lard. And that is absolutely unbelievable. I'd just like to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. There will be a nightcap on tomorrow night with a more engineering type things in it. Uh, this is just a little bit of daft carry on to try and spread a little bit of joy and laughter in these times of. Well, I'm not quite sure what times you are. Anyway, thanks for watching. Right. That egg is absolutely superb. Look at that egg in there. It's absolutely wonderful.